get to Hatfield's uh, training facility. This Mark Hatfield is incredible. He's a funny, funny guy. He really, the energy, like, like yeah. you just want to, you want to gratitude to him. There's just so much energy coming out no, of it. No doubt, you, you want to hate him at times. Yeah. You're probably hating him at the same time, yeah, yes, probably. but you feed off of yeah. it. Yeah, Angie Poirier is working out with him this morning, Angie. We are about to find out why Hatfield's off-ice training is so popular. Why it's already sold out for this year, all the teams that have gotten on board, and why you need to get in now if you have a team for okay. next year. Okay. For, so hockey training, it doesn't only happen on the ice. No, it does not. I, I, in fact, <coughs> excuse me, our teams win championships. And why? Because they're there. They're working at 100% in the third period. Okay, other teams are starting to lag off, or our teams are still have that momentum that, that, that people call it uh, the energy. It's our energy system. Okay, we, we use the analogy of a sprint. At the end of a sprint, it looks like guys are accelerating. They're not. They're maintaining the speed. Everyone else is slowing down, and that's what our teams are doing in the third period. Well, you look at the World Junior game. I mean, everyone was talking about it was such a good game, but they were talking about the U.S. was such a fast team. It's such a All fast long, team. Right? Yeah. All game long, They have these strong anaerobic energy systems, and yeah. that's what we train. We take 10 minutes every workout religiously to do this. We do it with a one-to-one -one work to rest. Ratio. We're going to go super hard for 30 seconds here, take a 30 second break, and we move on. We keep the drills different. They also have some sort of a, a foot speed agility uh, thing to it. And what we're going to do here is, uh, this is more equipment based, and uh, I have my tote here, that, which is unbelievable, this great tote. I can use it anywhere, and it just came free. And it was free! It's free to my front door. I have no idea how that works. So we keep we keep things in it, like uh, micro hurdles. What we do is we set this up. This is going to be a crossover drill, something we do a lot in hockey. What you can do is you're going to stand at one end, good knee bend, and you're going to do a one-two. We use the arms to move the feet you get here and immediately go back. So we do this okay. for 30 seconds. I'll give you a go. And it's all about effort here. If you knock a pylon, you knock a micro hurdle, you don't pick it up, you just keep going. I want to see effort. And this is going to translate into energy, your energy system being efficient, effective and efficient in the third period. Here we go. <laughs> we keep it up. Let's go. Let's go pick it up. The kids little, like uh, it. Kids love it. Kids think it's awesome. I you know, this, is the, this is the evolution of training. Here we go. We keep going. We go end it for a little bit of variety. That's about stop right there. What we'll do is we'll get you in an active rest. We don't want you to start all the way over, so we'll keep you walking. We'll have, a, we'll have one group walking. We'll have another group working. That way someone's always working, feeding off that energy. The next exercise we're going to do while you rest in active rest, keep moving, is a BOSU overspeed foot drill. Two on, two off. You use your arms to move your feet. Two on, two off. Okay, you get the pattern right, and then you pick up the speed, and you give it all you got. So go ahead and do that. Don't forget to use your arms to move your feet. Very good. And it returns your feet faster than, say, you're on a static step or something like that. So it puts you in an overspeed condition, making your nervous system react faster. Let's go. Let's pick it up a little bit here. Goodness. We want to have energy in the, in the third period of the show. So do you really? Yeah. I don't know if I make so, it to the end of the show. But do you really actually notice like a huge difference in teams after they do this type of training? Absolutely. This yeah. is what we hear. We hear over and over. In the third period, you know, First, second period, the teams are battling tight. Third period, we take over. Why is that, Mark? Yeah. That's right here at half fields. We train the anaerobic system. We work it hard. And we notice also when teams miss a week or miss two weeks, how they, they come back and they say, well, they didn't seem to have it in the third period. I say, well, coach, if you're not coming in here, you better do it anaerobically on the ice as well. So yeah. that's very important. And it's, it's, it's something that can happen right away, tangible. You can see the results. It's happening right in front of you. Whereas when you train balance, strength, that sort of stuff, it's sort of a long-term thing. Things we work at over and over, but the, so much of the stuff on the ice is a footwork too. Like footwork is very important in hockey. What we have here is we're gonna, you know, it's a, it's a combative sport. You're in there tight, you're moving your feet around, and then it goes into a long sprint right down the ice, down the other end. Right. What we do here is a box drill. Say we're gonna move our feet nice and fast, two in, two out. When we go laterally, it's a crossover. Okay, we cross over, get the knees up high. We're gonna go back and forth like that, okay. and this will evolve into a sprint after. So we're not this, not in this condition here because you have ten feet in front of you. <laughs> but here we'll do this for twenty seconds. Keep it up. Keep the feet moving, that's it. All out effort, give it all you got. This is where we train ourselves to keep pushing through too as well. We're gonna get tired, our feet are gonna wanna kick those pylons, those micro hurdles, we don't. We keep lifting the knees, we keep going. Very good. Oh, I can see why it's conditioning and <laughs> making me stronger. Rest. Very good, take active a break. Rest. I'm gonna head over there in a minute. Okay, active rest. If you like oh special, I've noticed. <laughs> all right, coming up, we've got more working out with Mark Hatfield. Uh, Hatfield's Athletic Development Center. Go to hatfields.ca. And uh, Volkert Studley. And Volkert Studley from there. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the off-ice training for kids has to be fun or they're not going to keep at it. And did you know that a simple game of dodgeball <laughs> can teach you everything you need to know about redirecting on the ice? Of course, you do that a lot in hockey. So coming up, a little dodgeball <laughs> with Mark Hadfield. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I'm not here. See, so you can't play that. Mark's that would be punishment. That would be fun. I 
Angie Poirier is over with uh, the Hatfields. Not the McCoys, the Hatfields. Mark Hatfield. Let's see what's going on, Angie. Being able to stop on a dime and redirecting yourself on the ice is so important in hockey, right Mark? Very important. Most injuries happen upon deceleration. People try and mm -hmm. stop straight legged and that's when all injuries happen. Yeah. So what we would teach is the biomechanics of properly changing direction. As you'll note in the, in the warm up here yeah. with our extreme board, your perfect point of balance. So watch this, get the board parallel. See the knee bend? That's nice. also our perfect point of strength and that's the knee bend we want to train your body to change direction with. Give that a shot. Oh we'll try that right here. You're going to find it gets really easy at one point. And that is your perfect point of balance. You want to note that. And right about there. Very good. Chest up, knees bent, bum down, knees over the toes. Excellent. Right there. Remember that? So we're going to change direction. We want to get to that knee bent. That's the optimal, the efficient, effective way. You'll see Barry Sanders changing direction. He's down there like that. He's definitely not standing up. And we look at, uh, we look at other sports for sort of motivation and inspiration. And running backs in football are the best, most agile athletes that can change direction quickly. So we can well, see that. that's your background. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. So what we'll do. <laughs> What we do is we set up sort of a, a, a 20 meter shot with three cones. Okay. And this is something they test in the NBA, the NHL, the NFL. It's a 20 meter shuttle. This is all sports training. All sports training. It's very, very important. So also it's a very good drill. They use yeah. it as a test. It's a great drill, right? So you stand at the middle and you'll change direction. You'll quick. This is a shrunk down version, but you'll touch. You'll get that good knee bend. You'll run over here. You'll touch and you'll run through. So we'll get you to do that just one time. Okay. We want to quickly get to a more fun drill. So we just want to go. You'll touch it, you go all the way over, you'll come back and you'll touch it. So th this okay. is about five meters apart normally, a good time. It's equivalent to around your 40 meter sprint, so under five seconds. Okay. What we do here at Half Fields is we'll have two athletes going at the same time. So you will start over here. Okay. You'll say go, we'll run, we'll touch this, we'll touch that. And then both athletes will go for the same ball and the first one there picks it up and pegs the other person off. Hopefully not in the face. Hopefully not in the face when we were rehearsing. <laughs> we got it right in the face. You can see Dead it. Dead center. Make He's got a good shot. No, it's very good. So it'll be moi versus toi. Okay. Here we go. And we will Great. say three, two, one, go. You'll go back, get it, peg it off. One point. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> two. Yeah. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Too cruel. Too cruel. Cruel to be kind. Too like magic. Here we go. Okay. I will say three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> One point for me. It's too easy. Let's do this again. You've got to make it fun, boy. Kids, 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 kids are competitive. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh no! Nice. Oh. <laughs> Good work. Good, All right, good. so let's recap. Okay, recap. so the hockey camps done for this year is totally sold out. We're done yet. We're still going strong. Yeah, but they're sold out. They're sold out, yes, okay. for sure. But you have to get in now for, for next, next year. year. You have teams. You want your you want team. You can do your coach or prospective coach for next year. Get your name in now. Contact us at halffield.ca. Yeah, see the benefit of that ice training. And then, Our so, teams win championships. They do. They really do. I've seen videos yeah. of your son on, yes. online on Facebook and stuff. Dang. Goal yeah, right? yeah, my yeah. goodness. Got some okay, so, and then also. Not fall far from the tree, my friends. <laughs> Choo -choo. Um, <laughs> and January 17th, you start your winter uh, training. Speed your Julie Balance in the Nepean area. Yeah, check our website for the schedule. Okay. Sign up now. Sundays and Tuesdays. They're sold out usually. Eight uh, sessions for 80 bucks. Unbelievable you can see value. They're sold out. Doing stuff like this. And yes. the whole family can do it together. Anyone okay. can do it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <That's great>. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. So I'm so happy. Go for your toque. Go for Kurt. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna get over there and try some of his uh, his workouts. So good, eh? It's